Uh, landed in South Bend today on a mission to recognize the role of a local company played in the success of the Artemis One mission. Mark Peterson is standing by live in the studio with the latest. Mark. Artemis One, Mark NASA's return to lunar exploration that launched last November set the stage for a series now of planned missions that'll take humans ever deeper into the solar system. Three, two, one, boosters in ignition and liftoff of Artemis One. There was a lot riding on last November's launch of Artemis One for one South Bend welding company with a reputation that once again proved to be out of this world. We do the joining of hundreds of injectors around a, a hub on it uh, that helps bring the fuel in and then gives it the thrust so the rocket goes up. Harder than it sounds? Uh, much harder than it sounds. Uh, there's a lot that goes into friction welding, uh, but we're the experts at it. Top NASA officials today came to the Manufacturing Technology Inc. plant in South Bend to tell the workers there firsthand, we couldn't have done it without you. We don't go anywhere without those injectors on those engines on our rocket. We don't, we might get off the ground, but you've got eight and a half minutes that you need to fly to get that, uh, to get to the trajectory we need to for us to go to the moon. Plans for Artemis II include adding four crew members. Plans for Artemis III call for a lunar landing. MTI started working with the space shuttle program back in 1981. All indications are it'll be called upon again. You're going to get a few injectors, I think, in the next couple of days here to do some work on for us that are uh, out in like Artemis VI and seven time frames. So. It is so great to be able to support the U.S. space program uh, in, in our way. So makes you proud to be an American, makes you proud to have manufacturing here in South Bend. Uh, and it's great. We're looking forward to Artemis II and going to the moon and beyond. Now, NASA relies on about 140 suppliers across the country uh, to conduct its missions. Officials visited nine plants in California in a five-day period. Uh, of course, the stop today, next stop Indianapolis, then Cincinnati. Busy folks. All right, Mark Peterson, live in the studio for us tonight. Mark, thanks. Well, there's more to come on.